we might be looking at an accessory set that is completely unnecessary. Let's get into it. Sometimes when we get a Dragon Ball figure, they feel a little bit incomplete and we find third parties that make better accessories or just additional accessories to swap out faces or add effects and things. Today's upgrade kit is from TKDIY. I recently reviewed their faceplate and headset for Vegeta. But today I'm gonna also review the figure as it comes by default from SH Figure Arts because for me, it's the first time I've ever seen it in hands. And it's a pretty cool character from Dragon Ball Super. If you're not familiar, it is two characters, Cauliflower and Kale, Cauliflower and Kale, right? That have merged using the Potaro rings, earrings. Batara earrings. <laughs> Pretty standard packaging. We have figure shots all over the back and we get one of the coolest effects, except for this is like right before it blasts and then Goku does that incredible surf across the power. It's this incredible. You, here, watch this. Isn't that one of the coolest scenes out of Dragon Ball? Come on. And since these two items are combined, let's separate them. There we go. Now, inside this box, I'm gonna have to open it again. I mean, for the first time. So you can swap out arms for cross arms like we've seen with other figures like Vegeta, face plates, hair pieces, hands, and how the power effects work, which this is definitely the way to do it. Just have a hand attached to an effect and then just, yeah, this is genius. Anyway, I like when they do the, just whatever. <laughs> and I gotta say, having this figure in my hands really just makes me want the two characters that make her. I want a Kel in both of her forms, her Broly-esque style, super, super duper thing. <laughs> and then, her normal one, and then we get um, Cauliflower in her forms. Why don't we have those? I don't know. But right out of the box, this thing, it's looking pretty solid. I mean, she's got her sweet abs from when she powers up. She's looking pretty beefy, which is nice. I think maybe she could have a bit more muscular tone going on in this version because this is this is powered up version, right? But because she is kind of missing the mark, it's gonna help with one of our potential upgrade kits. I'm gonna say upgrades because one is technically a downgrade and then the other one is uh, just made up. And part of it is also like really questionable, which I'll show you soon. Don't worry. Some of you probably already know it. And I don't know what I use for a thumbnail, so maybe you already gave it away. So let's look at these details of Kefla. So she's got the earrings in there looking real nice and the colors are good. I like the kind of metallic for that. I like the hair color, but a nice expression. We always need a good angry face and she's got plenty of them. By plenty, I mean there's two. Good one with the mouth open. I mean, that's this is just like a classic Dragon Ball face, right? You have to have something like this in the box. And I always am a fan of these face plates because it really amps everything up. Let's get these things out of the way. They're not here yet. It's not time for you guys, okay? We have some key blast hands, which are nice looking. Left and right side, pretty standard. Maybe this is the key blast hand? I don't know. What is the difference really? Is this just like a fighting stance? Then we have this hand, which, uh, what is this? What is, what's this one? Oh, this. She gets super cocky when she gets powered up. We got this pointing finger, which uh, also seems kind of necessary and standard with a lot of Dragon Ball figures. I like that. Things that are expressive, so that, a thumbs up or something, it gives a little bit more character with your posing. Then we get this one, which will attach to this, the ball, the power up ball. <laughs> which has some nice sculpt to it. I wish there was a little bit more color to it. It's nice to have effects, so thank you for giving me effects. Then you have this cross arm going on, which is, again, a nice standard thing that we've seen with, well, I say standard. We've seen quite a few brands do this. Created in Vietnam. I wonder if this is, uh, is she known to have some quality control issues? Or did she come out before all those issues? And then we have a left and right of this effect, which is a pretty iconic scene right before Goku does that awesome surfing uh, <laughs> move, which is just the coolest and totally unexpected. So looking at Kefla's details, her hair reminds me of the Broly review that I did, where it's got this like shimmery color to it, but hers is a bit more green. But the details, the sculpting's really nice. This is a big head of hair. <laughs> and you can see her hair piece uh, is still tied in the back from her default form and her merging of Kale and uh, Cauliflower. She's pretty basic as far as the articulation goes. So she's got some 
pretty great range out of the shoulders. It's just uh, keep an eye on that back piece, depending on the poses that you're doing, because it might get a little, a little weird. Articulation, she's pretty good with the head, even though she's got that much hair, because it's spiked up, you get some good range. There's no neck articulation, which is fine. It's just in the upper part uh, where the head's at. The arms, you can do essentially whatever you want. Nice joints, pretty standard. They feel, how many times have I said pretty standard? I think hopefully I've cut some out. The body feels pretty tight in a good way. So even though she's like kind of top heavy with the hair, I don't think there's gonna be any, really any issues of her like kind of joints weakening over the, under the, uh, the pressure. The legs don't have that much for splits, which is a bit disappointing. So quality control issues are the fact that like if, once you start moving, this uh, matte finish starts chipping up. So I don't know, what's the deal with that? Has anybody else had that issue? Let me know down in the comments, because uh, that's really frustrating. It's really bad when it's the front, because that's uh, your primary viewing space. And then she's got some pretty basic knees and standard ankles, simple toes. Toe articulation, I'm thankful for that. Anyway, annoyed already because all I did was just rub the, the uh, stum. I mean, as far as a sculpt and uh, likeness of a character, this is good. And I do wanna point out that this is a figure that is not intended for the head to be removed like you usually see. As you can tell from the shape of the peg, it's not a round ball that you normally get. This has grooves in there because it, they really wanted it to lock in. So you're definitely gonna wanna heat this thing up to remove the head. I used a hair dryer, either do that or some like pretty hot water and like let it dip in there and soften up. A little scary. <laughs> so this is not for the faint of heart. When I've got a long day of recording a video and editing everything, it can be exhausting. So to keep myself healthy and energized, I like to start my day off with a good old fashioned smoothie. And to make a perfect smoothie, you only need a few ingredients. I always like to start off with a nice cup of water, ice, a couple spoonfuls of yogurt. Then just two scoops of my favorite smoothie mix. And my secret, I always like to add a little bit of kale. <laughs> then we just close it up and start blending. Well, looks all blended up to me. Cheers. <coughs> Mmm, <clears throat> that's the good stuff. Get your kale today in both magnet or 11 by 17. So let's get into this supposed upgrade set. Now this is a questionable set for a few reasons. I got two versions. I got this red hair version, which obviously she doesn't do in the show. And I should, you, maybe you haven't watched it, so we won't have to say obviously. <laughs> and then we get her default form, which I think this is, this is halfway a good set right out of the box because now you get her in two versions. She did a little bit of work in this mode. So it is nice to see. But as you can see, there's some pink parts in here. Why? Why do we have another chest? This seems unnecessary. There's a pretty accurate, good sculpt. If anything, just give me more muscles. What's going on? Well, let's move some of these pieces out of the way and look at this upgrade accessory set. So we get two faces in the box. Let's look at how the application is for the colors. So these are some kind of like sticker thing, like uh, what, are, what is that sticker type that you put on model cars? Let's compare it to one that's in the box. So there's actually a size difference in the head too. So this is a pretty noticeable difference. I wonder if that's gonna be a problem when we put that head on that body. TK did not take an existing face and then just like recolor it, which you know could have worked if you could get a hold of the parts. Yeah, the, the eyes, they're kind of noticeable because you see that clear between the coloring versus this application, which is maybe more paint based. I don't I don't know. I don't know how this all works. It is noticeable with my human eyes. So it's not just putting it in the camera. So you can see that the other face. Yeah, suffers from the same thing. So beware of that. Be aware of that. Beware or be aware. <laughs> Whichever. It's a little distracting when the light hits it. The hair, this is kind of like a rubberized hair, which is fine. I've seen some comments on Instagram, people complaining about the hair. I don't have any problem at all with this hair, especially the black. This is like, it's perfect. What What is there to say bad about that? That looks pretty good. I don't mind this really. At, at, at the end of the day, this is a, it's a nice looking figure. The shadows are going to kind of help hide those glossy bits, maybe. We'll find out, and then we put the head on. And maybe since it's not a ball joint, this is the part of the problem here, but it, it doesn't, it's not really tight. It just, it just goes on. So you may need to use something to tighten that up to get a better fit, but let's see what that, oh, 
So that's a problem. <laughs> Something is up with this neck piece. I think it's just, it wants to sit at the wrong position. So it kind of ends up going at an angle to be straight up and down, which is a little odd, which makes it also want to fall off a little easier. Maybe have something to do with the size of the head. Anyway, so you're gonna have to probably use something in there to tighten up that head joint, but I really like the look of her in this kind of default form before she powers up. So it, it's cool, I like that. Not bad at all. Captures the likeness uh, pretty well. We got this extra piece, but we also got it over here. So let's, before we go a little crazy, let's, let's look at these other pieces. So now we're in this space of more of like a fan thing, F uh, fandom, F made up fan fiction. That's the word. So the hair on this one is not on. So it, it's missing the glue. So it kind of comes off a little easy, but I mean, glue is an easy fix thing, especially in a hole like that. So I'm not too bothered by it. And since the red is like, it's all made up, it's like, okay, okay, no big deal. What do we get in the box? We have alternate faces, which is interesting. So I am, I, I like that we're not just copying what's in the box, okay? I like fighting faces. I like personality faces. This is definitely a personality face. Now it suffers from the same thing as the other sets where you see that like clear stuff in between. Paint is gonna be better than sticker applications and it's clear on the mouth as well. It's not awful with the human eyes on the mouth, but everything else is pretty noticeable. The expressions, why wouldn't you just put these two expressions in black in here and then those two expressions in red over here and then just like give us four faceplate options. I think that's honestly, if you're gonna do this, you kind of have to do this because you can't mix and match because of the colors. Like I, this would be a nice face to put in with the black, but because of all the red kind of, well, it's really more of like a coral color. It's not even really red. And what was really cool is I put this face on and broke the earring. So that was fun. So instant, instantly broke. Yay. Same problem with the head, super loose. I like the fan fiction of the red because it's just something obviously we've never seen and probably would never get to see, but it's kind of like uh, maybe you're, what, what happens when she goes back to her universe and you know, maybe she does this again, but the red looks, it looks cool. It kind of clashes with the purple. So if I was gonna do something, it would be the black because it just also looks a lot better. Like there's a nice contrast with the black and the purple and the gold. It's a good set. Plus it's it's the reality of the show. So what are these things? Well, these are the, this is the weird decision. <laughs> I don't know why this needed to be here. I mean, there's, there's like some extreme details going on in that sculpt piece that the color is definitely different. Let's see if this one is. The body of the figure, it doesn't match. So even if you do this swap, you're gonna have these color issues. Obviously I have really frustrating matte finish issues with mine and this is really, really, <laughs> okay. So I started at the top of the show saying, maybe because it was in Vietnam that this was uh, one of the quality control issue figures. And yeah, it's super obvious. The matte finish is uh, absolutely disgusting. It looks like a dried, crusty, uh, crispy cream donut. <laughs> God, it just got left out in the break room and nobody ate. So this, the to swap this chest over is also a really extreme measure. So I'm gonna put on the screen the efforts that you need to put into this figure swap uh, which is kind of intense. You got to break this thing apart, separate the glue pieces from the chest, and then you put this thing back in and uh, the color doesn't match. On top of that, you have a, an odd, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, why was that the choice? Why was that the choice? I was here for the heads. The heads don't really work that well without putting something in there to tighten them up, which is pretty frustrating, but an, an easy fix. Just put something in there, pop it on in there, like maybe some, uh, uh, whatever, doesn't matter. A piece of paper could probably do it. And make the, the neck joint a little bit tighter. So what what's the, what am I saying here at the end of the day, folks? Uh, obviously, just get her as she is. If you're gonna get something, get the black hair set, but know that there are potential issues with the head. You get this chest plate, which is completely unnecessary. I have this thing because I really did want the black hair. 5K sent me the red hair, which I thought was cool and I don't hate it. Anyway, I'm frustrated. <laughs> if you're enjoying these uh, kind of upgrade videos, then let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. What's some brands like Tonson Art Toys? Somebody told me about that when I did Vegeta. So I'm new to that brand, but be sure to like, leave a comment and subscribe, of course, because hey, we're always doing something over here. Click the top video there for an after show where I go into a little bit more depths of things that I learned after the posing segment. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.